What's up guys, Digurian here. What's up guys, it's your boy Reaper, coming at you. Wait, something doesn't feel right. Something feels kinda off. Well guys, that's because things are changing. Wait, what? Yeah, for real, what you mean? The two of you just aren't separate personas anymore. I'm not funny, please, just... If you're looking for comedy, in the video now, because it's not gonna happen, this is me talking to you seriously. I'm sorry. I'm not funny without my friends. Now, for you guys that don't know, especially the one over here, well, um, I used to do a YouTube channel under the name of Digurin, and that was mainly me doing, you know, video game playthroughs, unboxings, and just random geeky stuff that I was into and thought would be cool to throw on YouTube. You guys are more familiar with this guy over here, because that's my juggalo, you know, hardcore, whatever persona that hasn't really been around much lately. And for that, I'm sorry, but here's explanation. One reason you guys haven't seen him around lately is because of the... Well, that's a whole nother video. I'll make sure to put it somewhere around here. You guys can go and watch that, the vlog update. Another reason why the Juggalo persona hasn't really been around much is because it's, it's weird, but it's convention season. It's the point in the year where I go to like the anime cons and video game conventions and stuff. And when I'm in that mode, I, you know, I kind of put away the the jerseys and stuff and break out my my geek attire, as you can see with my Pikachu hat. But if you if you have a problem with the Pikachu hat, you can fuck off. Another reason why the Juggalo persona has been kind of flatlining is because I'm trying to find a way to merge the two together. Instead of having two different personas, I'm trying to make them, you know, blend more together, which is kind of difficult. Because, I mean, the people that I hang out with, it's either one side or the other. But, I don't know, from a Juggalo standpoint, I shouldn't have to blend them together. It's very, very weird for me. Um, I've never even thought about blending them together. I've tried before, but it's failed, so I just kind of left it. And I know most of you guys don't really understand the whole merging of personas and stuff. And I, I understand that. It's It's... It's one of those things that not a lot of people have to deal with. But for me, it's hard to combine two things that I'm really into. For me, it's hard to combine that because you get friends who are into two different things. It's like, hey, I'm going to hang out with you guys, so I got to act nerdy. Hey, I'm going to hang out with you guys. I got to be all juggaloed out and be super into music and stuff. And a lot of people don't have to deal with that because a lot of people find people who who all like the same thing but for me I've managed to somehow make friends on two sides of the spectrum I could talk to this group about like juggalo shit and you know concerts and all that I could talk to this group about video games anime you know like computer and tech and shit and it's just kind of hard for me but at this point I'm done doing that I'm I'm done if we can all come together and talk about juggalo computers <laughs> some shit I don't know now some of you are sitting there saying he's just making this video to keep content you know frequently being put on his YouTube channel and you are 100% absolutely right did I have to make this video fuck no did I want to sure but it's really just a way for me to keep myself busy because I've been doing a lot of nothing lately and it's starting to drive me insane. Now, as you guys can tell from the background of my room and from previous videos, I'm very much a juggalo. I'll miss a gathering, I'll miss a concert, but Kami is something special in my heart. It is a place, It to me, Kami is almost equivalent to the gathering in the aspect of what it means to me mentally like I can go to the gathering and just chill and talk to people and meet new people and have like the most carefree time on the planet and that's kind of how Kami is um and if you ask a lot of con goers they feel the same way too it's like you can go and just escape reality for a weekend and it's absolutely amazing like 
there's there's really no other way to describe it. If you want, it's something you have to experience firsthand. Because me sitting here trying to explain what a convention does for you, if you are a nerd, if you are a geek or a nerd or anything like that, you will for sure have a good time at a convention. Now, that being said, you you could go to a convention and hate it. Like, if you don't like anime or video games, you're really not going to have that great of a time at a con unless you just enjoy the company of others, experiencing something different. At that point, you might have a good time, but conventions really are for the people who spend hours on end either watching anime, reading manga, playing video games, or just sitting in front of a computer screen being a fucking nerd. Now, don't get me wrong, I have met Juggalos at anime conventions, and it's been dope. There's nothing better than walking up to somebody and just, like, happen to have something with a hatchet man on it, and people just come up, oh, whoop, whoop, man, what's up, Juggalo love, and it's like, yeah, cool, that's dope. But nine times out of ten, that's not gonna happen. It's it's rare, especially around where I'm at, which is bumfuck Alabama. The, the convention experience is amazing. And the Juggalo persona is amazing. Like, being a Juggalo, is, there's nothing better. Juggalos don't give a damn what other people think about them. And I've kind of fallen behind on that. I've kind of forgotten what that exact, you know, part of being a Juggalo is. I've been too worried that people are going to judge me because I like anime, because I like video games and stuff like that. So I've tried to keep my persona separate. I'm, I'm done with that. I'm merging the two. This channel is going to become my main channel, and it's going to be a Mitch match of shit. Now, I know that is very harmful for YouTube channels nowadays, because people usually want to, people who watch content usually just want to see one style of content from a creator. And I get that, I do. But once again, I'm having to restate the fact I'm not, make, I, I don't make these videos. To try to get famous on YouTube. I don't do these videos to try to, you know, get noticed or draw in subscribers. I do these videos because I like making videos. Granted, I don't use the top-notch software. I don't know how to do this and this and this. I don't really care. I make videos because it's a way for me to vent. It's a way to clear my head. It's also a cool way to document points in my life. Like, the AWA video, that's awesome. To me, I, I know it's lower grade and I didn't capture a lot of the convention, but that's memories documented for the rest of my life. I'm always going to have them. Like, to me, making videos is a way for me... It's like keeping a journal for most people. It's like you can go back and read and see where you were in that point of your life. Well, for me, I can just pull up an old video I made and be like, Oh my god, you know, this is great. I remember this. I don't know. It's cool to me. So, yeah. I'm just letting you guys in on a little bit of my life. I'm, from now on, I'm just going to be me. I am Reaper official. You know, I'm always going to be Diger into some. Going to be Reaper to others. But, you know, call me what you want. If you see me out in public, you can either be like, Hey, Digerin. Hey, Reaper. Hey, you're fucking short. Either way, I'm going to be like, hey, what's up, man? So, yeah. I hope you guys are prepared for the Comic-Con video, because that's what we're getting ready. We're getting ready for Kami now. Don't forget, I'll be sure to link the info. If you are interested in coming to Comic-Con and partying it up with us, with the Reaper crew, you know, because... As you guys saw from AWA, we tend to get a little crazy at conventions. And if you want to party it up with us, be sure to come meet up with us. Go to Kami. Experience a convention. A fun one at that. And one that means a lot to me. Now, before I go, I would like to apologize about like the multi-topic style video that this one is. And the fact that I've just kind of been rambling. But like I said, I'm, I do these videos so it kind of helps me clear my head. You know, it allows me to take stuff that's on my mind and present them to you or just put them out there in the world for other people who might be in the same headspace as me. It's very unlikely, but just in case. And I'd also, it's very relaxing for me just to sit down in front of my computer or stand here and 
know, just work on stuff like this. It's very, very, re very relieving, very rewarding for me in the end because it's just like, cool, I did this. And cool, I got to vocalize what's on my mind. So yeah. Um, I don't really have any much, anything else much to add. So I'm sorry. Like I said, this video is just kind of me rambling, mix matching topics and points, and just having fun, informing you guys about Kami and telling you guys what it means to me. Hopefully, hopefully I'll meet some of you guys there. Hopefully some of you guys will come out party with us, because like I said, we're gonna have the Kiki, we're gonna have Chase, we're gonna have E. Rip. Gonna have Drew and Sam and Jordan and Ian. MJ. I'm gonna play dodgeball. Yeah, me. One of the most unathletic people there are right now. Like, I sit in this chair and just look at a computer screen nine like 90% of my day. And I'm gonna be going and playing dodgeball and being active and shit. Yeah, what? Come at me. I'm going to be dodging balls. Dodging balls. It's going to be fun. Because I haven't got to play in the last five seasons of Kami. And I'm very excited. This year is going to be very interesting. It's going to be very fun. Get to go to some panels and play dodgeball. Hit up the rave. Maybe the Vocaloid concert. If they got their shit together. Because the last year's was awful. Y'all need to fix your speakers. That's the only thing I don't like is y'all speakers and your DJ doesn't know how to drop the fucking bass every now and then. He'll, he'll build it up. Do, 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 Slow song. Or he'll go to a beginning of a song and it'll just kind of kill the whole mood. It's like, all oh, that build up. Oh, we about to get crazy. Beginning of a song. Fuck. So, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully this year... This year's rave is going to be dope. Like that, those are the only bad points of Kami. I was like, you never know if the DJ is gonna, if the the rave is gonna be as good as you want it to be. You never know about the Vocaloid concert. Uh, and after AWA, Kami's got a lot to live up to. But it's always gonna be my hometown con. I'm always gonna show it so much love. It's always gonna be number one in my heart. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. And I know that this is probably just a waste of time for you guys, but this is fun for me. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later.